Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and, um, cast time once again, and normally I'd be working, but I'm not, but I'll, I'll explain more here in a bit. Um, so, and this, I'm gonna go ahead and say here, too, that uh, this is one of those casts where the more I started putting it together, the more inspiration I found, or the more things I, more things that I wanted to say, but I, due to, due to lack of time and all that, I couldn't do it, so, um, I've had these kind of casts before, where when I start when I start putting them, when I start getting them and go, getting them going and stuff, I'm realizing that hey I, hey I got more to say on that hey I got plenty to say on that subject you know that kind of thing but uh so this is gonna be a very goofy convoluted cast um there there might be some things that that I wanted to say but never got around to. And there might have been there might have been some things that uh at the time I thought were irrelevant that I wanted to say but I'll wind up saying anyway. So but basically, long story short, this is gonna be a pretty messy cast. Um so don't be surprised if uh stuff doesn't work as intended. Um But um let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Uh this is Parker, their Odyssey album. And um this really wasn't there wasn't my first choice i've had this happen before um just a whole bunch of albums started appearing on my youtube recommendations uh from all the uh, music, music channels that i've subscribed to but um but yeah i'd say about 90 percent of all those albums that i'm getting are copyrighted so this is the um this is one of the few that i can think of that's actually free to use so we're just going with this, but uh, it's it's called I think it's uh it's called post rock. I think I said this in one of my other like my music genre tier list. I don't get the post part of it. It just kind of goes over my head. But well, here it is. So, so let me go ahead and um, rewind that. And hang on, I forgot to sound test this. So let's try it now. Hopefully I got the sound right. Nope. Oh. Play please. No, oh, it's good. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, but anyway, well, as is obvious, um, yeah, I called in tonight. So, but I actually, um, uh, it was actually a very tough decision for me to make. I think I said this when I, when I started streaming earlier today. Um, it just occurred to me that today, I actually requested it off a few, uh, a few weeks ago, but it got rejected. So, this really put a, this really put a, really put a crimp in things because because now what what I got a feeling what might happen is is since you know the time off the the day that I requested off got rejected uh presumably because of inventory and but I'm calling in anyway I got a feeling this might end up pissing off some of the managers like you know they really needed me here but I called in anyway so they might have taken it as me saying fuck you to them so I got a feeling that tomorrow you know, I might, I might have to explain myself like, hey, look, you know, hey, uh, Sunday morning I got woke up by a, you know, by a big time back injury. I pulled a, pulled a muscle. I've talked about this before in one of my earlier casts. So I don't want to go too much into it, but it was basically very debilitating. You know, and then I think I said this yesterday, Tuesday, um, I pulled a, I pulled my upper left back muscle, but not as much. It's a little, little bit niggling, but, it, but yeah, it's, you know, it's there. But like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, today I'm getting over these injuries, so 
not quite ready for the work week, so I figure, you know, you know, call, go ahead and uh, calling it tonight. That extra day of rest definitely ain't gonna hurt. But like I said, a, like I said, uh, I think it was one particular manager that uh, that disapproved of my time off. So luckily, the guy that did it, um, really, he's a pretty laid back guy. Um, I think he, uh, I think he's a manager that still lives with his parents. I think he goes to church every Sunday. So, not near the douchebag that, uh, some of my other managers are. So, hopefully tomorrow, if I have to, you know, you know, if I have to explain, you know, or tomorrow, that manager might actually confront me with it. Because, again, it, I, again, this, it was kind of a kind of a slap to his face you know I mean sorry to sound like a broken record but he rejected my time off so I just went ahead and called in instead so but also I am I think I said this in one of my other videos too uh, we have inventory next week so so yeah management's gonna be a little hang on, I gotta okay I gotta turn it down Outside. Okay, but anyway, so, but you know, so, but this this manager here, I'm pretty sure he'd understand. Look, you know, explain, you know, if I explain to him what I'm explaining to you right now, I mean, you know, I don't, I basically just needed one more day of rest, and my back should be fine. And plus, it also means I'm only working two days this week, not that extra third. So, you know, give my back a better chance to recover, and then you know. Come back, you know, come back next week, you know, fully refreshed and ready to go. See, now if it was, uh, if it was one of my other managers, the chances are I'd probably have to listen to something like, Oh, you probably didn't hurt your back that much. Man, I've literally, I've literally, you know, I've literally fallen off of two-story buildings with my back straight into a, you know, falling right on my back into a railing and gone to work just fine or something like that. You know, just take a couple of Tylenol and you'll get over, you know, or some shit like that. You know, the kind of shit I hear in, uh, playing online games. You know, like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, I never sucked this bad on my first time running a dungeon. You know. I've run these in level 10 gear and I've cleared them out just fine, you know, that kind of crap. But like I said, this this manager that rejected my uh, rejected my time off, he should be the kind of person that I can talk to. So But like but like I did say, um next week is inventory, so we're we're getting, you know, really close to it, crunch time and all that, so I can I can kind of understand why my time off got rejected. So, but, uh, but this is also one of the reasons why I like doing these cast videos. It um, it helps me get it out, you know. So, but uh, I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Um, but otherwise, for today, um, I decided to, like yesterday, uh, like I said on my on yesterday's video, I tried out a new game called Yoku's Island Express. I really like it. It's a combination of uh, adventure platforming and pinball. Uh, two two game genres I never thought would have been would have would have gone together. Um. It, when I watched a review on it, they he actually classified it as a Metroidvania. I I didn't really detect that, cause uh, in a uh, in Yoku's there's really I'm trying to find the right words, but it's 
basically it's non-violent. I don't because you don't actually you don't actually damage anything. You don't actually, to my knowledge, you don't actually kill anything. Whereas uh in whereas in the Castlevanias and the Metroids, that's exactly what you're doing. You're going around shooting stuff, killing it. Whereas I don't. I don't recall seeing I re, I don't recall seeing anything like that in uh, this game. Hell, in this game here, if you fall into a pit of spikes or something, you just um, it's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like when you like, you get hit or you fall off a cliff, you lose all your rings. Yoku's Island Express kind of has that has a variation of it. Like you can run around and pick up fruit and stuff. You can use to like unlock bumpers and flippers, etc. If you ever fall into like spikes. You just lose a little bit of fruit and that's it. So I so yeah, I'd classify it as a as a as an adventure platformer or a platform adventuring, however you however they call it, and then pinball. Um but one thing I do have to say is uh they did an adequate job with the pinball part of it, but not quite. Um, they weren't dead perfect. They might have had their reasons, or they may not be into pinball the way I am. Because, yeah, there's... Yeah, because they, um... One big goof that comes to mind... If you've ever watched me uh, play pinball, then you you probably see me do this numerous times. Like, when the ball's coming down on a flipper, I don't flip at all. I just simply let the ball hit the flipper and bounce over. Boom! into the other flipper. You can't do that in this game. The, once the ball hits the flipper, it just sticks to that flipper and then rolls down. Like, it doesn't bounce at all. Um, I do gotta say, though, the the pinball physics in this game, I, some, I sometimes really wish they would have an FX3 in uh, Zachariah. Where it's like uh, you're trying to handle a damn Teflon-coated ball or something. You, flip, you know, pop the flipper up to try to catch that ball and it just boing, bounces off of it like a damn beach ball. But whereas, in, again, in Yoku's, once the ball hits the flipper, it just, it just sticks to the flipper. Sometimes I really wish you could have that in all the other games I play. You know, I'm trying to catch the ball and I actually do catch the ball, so... That is an upside to Yoku's. Catching the ball almost always works. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink. So Um, but I'd probably say uh well like I said, gameplay, I like it. I kind of want to stream it again, but uh, on the downside, nobody shows up for it. Nobody shows up. So it's... I think um, one person showed up, uh, Kitaro87. Him and I have known each other for at least five years, so he was there. But otherwise, a, a scant amount of people came by. I mean... Yeah, it was pretty much a ghost town, isn't it? And... And I think it I think it is the game and not just me. Cause whenever I stream pinball, I mean I usually get at least twice as many people showing up. I mean even if it was a bad day, like yesterday. I mean, even when I was my plane was at my worst. You know, you I still get a fair amount of people that come by. You know, so, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of burnt on pinball. You know, I'm wanting to play something else, but again, the problem is, is it kind of kill, it kind of kills the motivation. And there's gonna be, there's gonna be more on this subject a little bit later. Um, this was one of the, I mean, this is one of the other things I said at the start of this cast, uh, about uh, me. Uh, getting more and more inspiration the more and more I work on this cast. Uh, so a little bit later on is an example of that. Oh, damn, what happened there? 
Oh, damn. That's That was why. Capcom Fighting Collection. Well, they killed that idea. Same thing, same thing on uh, CFC that I had on today's stream. Yeah. Yeah, so I have streamed this. All right. Yeah, nobody really shows up to these. I'll bet that was Pinball. Yippers. Bram Stoker's Dracula. That peak there. Average viewers 10. I'll bet that's when I was doing uh, Bram Stoker's. So, but uh, otherwise, aside from that stream, um, a little bit later on, I played a little bit of Gems of War, but like usual, um, unless it's the new uh, weekly reset, I only played maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, did some PvP, and then um, I also did what's called a, called a delve run. It's... Oh, how can I put it? I want to... It's more difficult, for lack of a better word. It's more difficult. It's, um... Back when I was uh, playing Gems of War consistently, I'd, I'd play it... I'd do it every day, but... After a while, just... I think I just went, Fuck it! And just cried uncle and just not really into it anymore. But like I said, it, there's a lot... There's a fair amount to explain on there. But it just... I'm much more into PvP than I am into, into that stuff. And, uh, but some of it is, some of it, to be fair, is necessary. Like, if you want to get certain characters in your group, or in your, in your roster, or in your stable, whatever you want to call it. So, you do have to do some delve work to get those certain, um, so, to get those certain creatures. So. But like I said, um, unless it's the weekly reset, um, I'm usually I'm playing Jumps of War like maybe 15 or so minutes. Um, after that, I began putting this cast together, which took most of the evening. Um, and then, and then some point later, I switched to Capcom Fighting Collection again, or not not again, but just you know off stream and all that. And um, but kind of the same thing this time. Uh, I went online. Um, tried to do a quick match. Nobody was on. Um, I also tried to create my own room. I talked about this in, uh, yesterday's cast, I think. Um, in this, you can create your own room. You know, and then where people can enter and stuff. Uh, but on those, nobody showed up. So, I tried to... I think I tried to, I tried to find a room. But, like yesterday, there were no rooms available. Nobody made any. Now, to be fair, one, I was only um, I was, I was only waiting in the um, waiting for the a quick match for like about a minute or so. I didn't want to sit there no like hours and hours and all night until somebody until I got a match. I didn't want to wait that long, or I didn't want to wait very long. Um, and two, I was doing this like late in the evening, so probably when everybody's gone to bed and all that. So, but. But otherwise, uh, I just, um, I mean, I just did, uh, I played a little bit of Vampire Savior, uh, offline mode, just playing against the computer. I think I got as far as, like, the second battle, got my ass kicked. Oh, I don't, I did my usual random select, and I got, uh, her name's Queen Bee, and as the name would imply, she's a bee. Okay, but um, but it, when, it, when, it's, when I got to the part about talking about um, uh, talking about um, uh, my streaming, you know, like how today, today was a dead stream, but all my pinball ones were pretty active. This was one of the things that kind of inspired me. To it kind of inspired me to add more to this, add more to this cast video. Now. I just kind of felt it worth uh, repeating. 
there's a... Uh, I remember what, many years ago, um, legendary streamer Asmongold, he, uh, he actually put out a rant clip about, uh, entitled streamers. Um, they got mad, you know, getting mad because nobody shows up to their streams. So, and, uh, a recent one, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here, hold on. But, um, recently, I think it was probably about a week ago, another channel I checked out called Button Check. They're, um, uh, it's a, like a fighting game news channel. I'll watch that, um, uh, I'll watch that whenever he comes on. But, uh, he was saying the same, he kind of said the same thing that Asmongold said, uh, way back in the day. Just because you're a streamer doesn't give you the right to have a bunch of, you know, have a bunch of viewers on. So, I guess, um, uh, a lot of a lot of budding streamers, I guess uh, a lot of them feel entitled, for lack of a better word. You know, you know, just because they're, you know, just because, you know, just because they're streaming, they seem to think that all these viewers are gonna pop up out of nowhere and they're gonna be super popular. It doesn't happen that way. Um, but like I said, this was I've been streaming for seven years now, I think. Yeah, seven years. And this is a lesson I learned a long time ago, like right when I first started, uh, back back when I was streaming on my PS4. I mean, I you know, so so what these two guys said really hit home with me. I mean, so so I guess uh, kind of a so kind of a kind of a suggestion to mirror what these two guys were saying. If you're ever wanting to get into streaming, you just. You know, just because you're streaming doesn't mean you're going to have a whole shit ton of followers, you know, suddenly appearing in your stream. Again, I learned this lesson when I first started. And this, you know, this was back when, um, it was also back when I actually had the viewer count on. I mean, I saw, there were many times where I'd be uh, playing, uh, I think it was Diablo 3. That was the game I first started streaming. Yeah, Diablo 3. I would see... Three people come on. And then a moment later, it, the viewer count would reset to zero. I would see like three or maybe even five people show up. But then a short time later, zero. So, and now, and uh, yeah, I think, um, I think his name's Ernesto. I think that's his real name, the button check guy. Uh, but he was, um, he's, he also he also said what I was thinking too. Um, if you got some guys on your stream, great. But now it's just a matter of keeping them or getting them to stay on your stream is a different matter entirely. So, which again, it, and then there's, uh, and then there's also the issue of, uh, it's pretty much, I guess it's streaming 101. You have to be both entertaining and genuine. Whereas, um, so there's, I think there's like a really, it's, it's pretty much a balancing act there. Because, this, and this is a mistake I made too when I first started streaming. Um, I would see like um, I would see my viewer count, and this is uh, a and more basic advice for any other newbie streamers: turn the viewer count off. You know, at least at least at first. You know, have that count off because if you're gonna see that number going up and down, it's really gonna mess with you. Like it, like it did me, because when I was streaming. And if I if it showed that there was nobody on, I mean it would be I mean I wouldn't be, I would hardly do anything just not talk, not say anything, you know just keep playing. But then when people showed up, all of a sudden, hey, welcome to the stream, everybody! Thanks for dropping in. All right, hey, how y'all doing? Hey. And then that number would just reset to zero. So again, I because some people. Some people, 
and I'm I'm kind of one of these people for the rare time that I check out other streamers these days. Um, some of them like to lurk, but if you call them out like that, they'll end up uh, feeling alienated and then leaving immediately. So there's that as well. And if I'm uh, if I'm not making sense or if I'm going off on the tangents, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of I'm kind of speaking off the cuff. Like I said, this part of the cast here was basically unplanned. This is one of those things that. I felt the need to expound upon the more I start, more and more I started putting this cast together. So, so like I said, um, and um, as I've gone on almost thirty minutes now, um, I've said this in other cast in other videos too. Um, if if somebody wanted my advice on how to how to how to be a better streamer. I would probably say Z, everything, or, or let, let me rephrase that, in a word, everything, but that is to say that you can't, you can't be a good streamer just relying on one thing, like, you, you have to, you know, you have to be entertaining, you have to talk to your audience, you know, and you have, you know, and at the same time, you can't, you can't, you can't act, or, you know, again, you have to be authentic. So, so you gotta, you gotta be all that. You have to have a good quality stream. You know, you, you can't be streaming at no 260 pixels or anything like that, but you, it just, if you, if you look at guys like, again, Asmongold, uh, Button Check, Shroud, Ninja, um, I think Maximilian, dude, but, all those high caliber streamers, they have it all. You know, they're you know, they're entertaining, they're I I should say along the entertaining and genuine axis, I think I said this a few minutes ago, it's a balance. Like, you know, you wanna you wanna be express you know express yourself. That's what I'm looking for. You wanna express yourself, you know, so you wanna you want to you want to put yourself out there you want to sing in the shower you want to sing in the bathtub but at the same time you don't want to be full of shit you don't want to be somebody who you're not so like i said it's kind of a kind of a balance between the two but otherwise everything else has to be there so you know again the qu stream quality has to be there it can't be it can't be ghetto so I think I made a. I think I made a good call with this album. But it sounded pretty damn good. Like I said, I just. I only grabbed this album here because, out of all the other albums that were prob that were that were better options. This one here was the only one of the few that uh, wasn't copyrighted. But, uh, but nevertheless, um, I'm pretty much going to have to go ahead and stop it here. So, but otherwise, I think I did say all the things that I wanted to say today. So, so, but yeah, um, and tomorrow and tomorrow, most certainly I'll be going back into work. So tomorrow on Friday, that's going to be my two day work week. So. I forgot what I was going to say. But otherwise, fuck it. But thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. I always do. So, again, um, tomorrow and Friday is my work week. So, you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.